They played Clemson in that title game, which is coming up quickly, early December, Charlotte, North Carolina. Here we go with Georgia Tech and Pittsburgh. Jacques Louis on the return. And they got about eight, nine yards on that play. So we'll call it second and short. Quick pass by Pickett out on the edge. That's Maurice French down the sideline. He's only 5'9", 185 as he stays in there. And he's gotten one they've given it to him inside as well. There's third down for Pittsburgh. That should be enough inside of that 40 for Valique Carter. By the way, Georgia Tech did win the toss and elected to defer, so they'll get the ball to start the second half for reference once we get there. Pickett's pass. Complete and out of bounds. Timeout. The pit receivers had way too many drops. Six drops total in the loss to Miami. This is third and nine. Pickett throws it. It's too high for the receiver and incomplete. 32-yard attempt for Alex Kessman. And he knocks it through. So Pittsburgh, first possession and first points of the game. Did Pitt defense. Look at him walked up here. Carter does have 11 catches, second best on the team. Couldn't grab that one. Pressure on Graham. And he'll move that pocket up to the 30-yard line. It's the all-conference punter, Presley Harvin the third. He threw a touchdown pass two weeks ago on a fake punt. This is French. 40. Struggles to the 45-yard line. First person in his family to ever be named a captain, and he said it's really helped him turn into more of a vocal leader when he needs to be. Georgia Tech came up with the play. Kelsey Wanye Thomas stepping in front of that pass from Kenny Pickett. And a big turnover for a Georgia Tech foot. Had a fumble recovery in the end zone against the Canes. See what they can do with this opportunity on second down, and there's not a lot there for James Grant. Coach Patnode was on the staff at Temple last two years prior to this season with Jeff Collins, and that pass is incomplete. Off the boot of one of the best around Presley Harvard. French the deep man. Has to backtrack and field it inside the 25. French. Down that 35-yard line, spins away from a tackler, and then reinforcements come for Georgia Tech. But again, Maurice French, dangerous on his two-putt return so far this afternoon. A couple years ago, you would have blindsided someone, hit him in the ear hole, but he waited, just used his hands to set up a block, and helped out get a couple more yards there. Direct snap to Vincent Davis for Pittsburgh. Davis up the middle of the field, angling for the end zone, and the Panthers have scored. 61 yards direct snap to Davis and he goes the distance for Pittsburgh by Vincent Davis on the direct snap for Davis third rushing touchdown of the season the Panthers out to a 10 nothing lead get some more heat on the quarterback another third down coming up here and they're walked up fourth start of the season for Graham wants to throw it and that's too far 40 total yards in returns for French. Harvin. High and deep driving French all the way back to his 15 and he spun down near the 10 yard line. I ask you to make sure that the coverage wasn't out on it. And you know what? I like it from French as well. He's hungry right now. Third and short. Oh. Second effort. Needed to get to about the 24 and a half. Run right through it. He had 16 tackles against North Carolina a couple weeks ago. He can do it. Pick it. Over the middle. Intercepted again. Tariq Carpenter was through the hands of the receiver. And Tariq Carpenter with a pick for Georgia Tech. Tom mentioned the drops earlier. And Nakia Griffin Stewart, the graduate transfer from Rutgers. He's been guilty as much as anybody, the tight end. He's right there at the sticks. It's going to be an easy first down, another third and seven. Graham inside the 30 and down near the 25-yard line. They convert on third down. Ford made the tackle, but Graham got 12 and a first down tech. Big as this. This is the keeper, the good read there on the end. 
and he knows what he's got to get, and he gets some help there on the outside. He had the game-winning points against Miami with a one-yard touchdown run in overtime. This will be Mason trying to shake his way down to the 15. Didn't quite get there. He's two for four on the season. And this one is no good. He's hands that time to go out and pluck it. Wonderful catch from Gregg. And a first down now as through the line is Malik Carter, the sophomore from West Palm Beach, Florida. He was in the ACC with Miami as an offensive coordinator as well. And a QB coach with the Steelers, so he knows what he's talking about. Stanford sophomore running back Todd Sibley Jr. is out. He will not play today. And for Georgia Tech, per Coach Collins, he told us junior linebacker Bruce George. Kelsey French made the catch there. Charlie Thomas made the hit. And the cover for Georgia Tech. So Kelsey, yet another turnover. Goodness, just about the only thing that stopped it so far themselves. Again, like clockwork going right down the field. And French just trying to get a better grip, it looked like, on it now. They might, they might take a look at it, and he might have had a knee down right there. So Georgia Tech... What are the Jackets going to do for it now? Nothing to show after the missed field goal last time out. There is no review. Graham unloads it. In stride and caught. Touchdown, Georgia Tech. Amari and Brown at 51 yards for the Jackets. Well, we've seen James Graham run it a couple times. He's been a bright spot early in this game on the ground. But here's why he's truly a dual-threat quarterback. Just lays it so out. Coach Collins noticed, noted how big of a hit special teams would take without Smith. Third and four for Pittsburgh. Two for three in this situation. It's French, and they're going to have it again. And he's in the Georgia Tech real estate, taken out at about the 47-yard line. Missed a couple tackles that time. He made it through on the blitz, but just run past. He got to break down. Pick it for the pocket. Complete. French spinning his way around that 20-yard line. He's right at the marker at the 21. And they haven't even, with the exception of that big, long run, haven't even had to try to run it much. Pick it. Throwing it again. Inside the five on target. And diving into the end zone for the touchdown is Shucky Jacques-Louis. Touchdown. Panthers and 21 yards. Well, how about this throw and catch? Little back shoulder with not much room at all as Swilling is right there tied on him. Jacques Louis. Six PD pass of the season for Graham. Throws on the run and got popped, and a flag came out. In total defense, and they're in the top five in the most significant statistical categories in the ACC on defense, although this is going to be a first down for Jordan Mason from midfield. On second down. Jerry Howard, Jr., number five for the Yellow Jackets, the junior from Rock Hill, South Carolina. Graham had to throw it on the run well above the head of the receiver, Amari Brown. It was also a safe look for the Miami Hurricanes on that play. This will be a punt. It was a 41-yard pass by Harvin a couple of weeks ago on a fake punt. French will get away from it. And that ball will dribble inside the five and near the three. Three for four on third down. Pick it from his end zone. Steps forward and throws and threads the needle to French. Up near the 20, Maurice French, his sixth catch of the afternoon in seven yards. And third and short. Pickett has the time to release up near the 35. And a first down over the middle. Panthers win today, James. They'll be bowl eligible. This is going to be another substitution penalty on Georgia Tech. Yeah, two flags deep in the secondary is A.J. Davis for Pitt. 
Pickett is 15 of 21, 167 yards. Two interceptions and a touchdown, and that's incomplete. In the bright sunshine of Atlanta, Georgia, Taysier Mack. Trying to snap a two-game losing streak at home. Lost to the Citadel in overtime and to North Carolina. Brown, that pocket. Falls in on Brown. Well, I call a timeout here. John Morgan had the sack. That's the first of the game. Boy, the, the pressure, unlike the other side of the ball, the pressure has come time and time again. Well, you had to expect it coming from the nation's best sack machine, this pit defense. ACC title game. Late in the second quarter, Jordan Mason. That's only one. All right, his total as the year progresses. Harvin. French at the 40. He'll go no further. Nathan Cottrell on special teams. 43 yards on the punt. There was no return. Third down and 11 now. Five for seven on third down of the game for Pickett and the Panthers. This pass over the middle is complete. It's going to be short of the marker to Shockey Jacques Lurie. Six yards, David Curry. Number seven is Lucas Johnson, sophomore from San Diego, California. Back to pass. Felt the pressure, got it away. 35-yard line, what a catch. Throws down the 155-pound freshman. Mason got the call. That's a loss of three. Salim Brightwell diagnosing the play. Just one for seven on third down with the ball just beyond their 35-yard line. This pass complete. Pick it throws over the middle. Taysir Mack needed to get to the 30-yard line. Marion Brown is deep. Flag is out. Kick is blocked. Panthers trying to cover it up either way. Georgia Tech came in and got a piece of it. The head coach will definitely become the head cheerleader of the Juice Crew, getting them pumped up. Here's basically your fourth turnover of the game. A great job getting through there. We talked about priding yourself in special teams. Jeff Collins in all of those special teams meetings. We showed you at halftime the coaching trees that he comes from. Ball near that 10-yard line. The edges started to bend and collapse in. Kylan Johnson, I'll meet you at the quarterback. He's got the sack in the second one of the game for Pittsburgh. Smart football and unselfish. Guys just kind of staying there in their of the, of the scheme of the defense. A nice job defensively. Brenton King. Pickett, open man. Easy first down, Carter again. Tariq Carpenter makes the tackle. Moving the football, 6 of 10. Good on third downs, but got to hold on to it. French. Spun around by Wanye Thomas. Well, Wanye Thomas, who has started the turnover game here, doing a good job fighting through the block and going right after French. Third down and 14 now, but you can't give them all day long in the pocket. French. Spin cycle again. Number two. Only got two. Brown is deep. They forced Pittsburgh to punt again after the Panthers rolled up almost 300 yards of total offense in that first half. On the bounce, it's Brown, and he's cut down immediately at the 32-yard line. Carpenter seeing that and feeling the family love as well. That was a pretty neat tweet. Johnson got it away over the middle and complete past the 40-yard line. Nathan Cottrell flag behind the play. Well, just one year. One year of high school ball. Johnson got away and threw it. Open man, first down and more. Inside the 30 for Georgia Tech. Adonikas Sanders on the receiving end of the pass from Lucas Johnson. Linebacker coach for the Wildcats. Mason 
First down, driving his way inside the 10. Jordan Mason for Georgia Tech. He cut the lead to seven, now third and goal. Johnson takes off. The ball came out right at the goal line. It's scooped up by Pittsburgh, and Cam Bright is running the other way. Cam Bright, can they chase him down? Inside the 25, and finally written out of bounds by Adonikas Sanders. Right at the goal line, the ball popped out. Johnson kept it, tried to get to the end zone, but lost control. 80 yards later, Pittsburgh returns it inside the 25. First turnover of the day for Georgia Tech. Quarterback lead and fighting, trying to make something happen and punch it in. There's the big hit by Johnson to jar it loose, and the scoop. And big dreams by Cam Bright, the sophomore linebacker, is off to the races. Nice job by his buddies to help lead the way. Paris Ford down there. <laughs> Look at him switch it to the outside arm like a running back would. Wow, big time play. Kylan Johnson is going to come across and deliver the big blow. Johnson, of course, a player for Jeff Collins. So the ball is at the 21-yard line of Georgia Tech. 1.40 to go. That pass out on the edge to Aaron Matthews. Hung on the football but lost four yards. Desmond hit his season long of 54 yards last week against Miami when he made all four of his field goal attempts. 49-yarder from Kessman. Right down the middle as he hooked it in there. Alex Kessman, good from 32, and now from 49. James Graham's come back into the game, played the entire first half for Georgia Tech. He flips it out. Jordan Mason past the 20-yard line. Four-yard pickup nonetheless as they try to get outside in the third. Ran through for 54 yards in the first half. This is complete to the tight end with a flag coming out, Tyler Davis. But Pittsburgh also has a 49-yarder. Only points of our second half, and that is incomplete. They break it down. He's right there with them. Excellent job. That snap was low but fielded by Harvin. Belts it back to the 38-yard line and French. Still standing. French has a couple of blockers, midfield and more, and he'll slide down and get buried as he went for the slide at about the 42. Again, we've seen the aggressive play. We saw the interception from him early in the football game. One of two interceptions for Georgia Tech with an entourage of blockers. It's A.J. Davis spilled 32-yard line. But a third and 14 now coming up. Can he pick it? Quick drop and throw. It's complete. Jacques-Louis near the 25-yard line. 44 yards for Kessman to go three for three after going four for four a week ago. Does it have enough? It did, but did not have the direction. Played the first half, had to come in for Lucas Johnson, who had to be taken to the dressing room. Throw in. Got hit as he threw it, and it's intercepted by Paris Ford. Ford on the return, past midfield. And finally taken down near the 42-yard line. With that, the pressure coming, the pressure got to Graham. He just launches it up there, a prayer. Just right underneath it is Paris Ford, who had a big game through the air against Miami with his four pass breakups. Only five prior to that one. This time, he doesn't break it up. Six of 13 in the game for Pitt on third down. Call it third and two. Pickett trying to get away, and he won't. Antoine Owens. And the first sack of the game for Georgia Tech. Overtime. Here he is. Watch him. He does an excellent job of staying up on that upfield shoulder and fighting to hang on as Pickett tries to work and get back underneath. Road win of the season a couple of weeks ago. Their most recent game at Miami in overtime. But trailing by 10 to Pitt. Brown signals for the fair catch just beyond the 10-yard line and makes it successfully. The punt was 34 yards from Kirk Christodoulou. Mason in the pile. There is no game. Now we're inside of five minutes. Look at it. They're just letting it tick down. 
I mean, they got to score twice. They're going to try the deep ball down the sideline. Incomplete. Two defenders back there with Amari and Brown. It stops the clock, 449, and now fourth down. Harvin from his goal line. Vardzell, the deep man. Wants the fair catch right near midfield. And he's able to grab it at about the 49 of Georgia Tech. That punt was 36 yards. Time's a wasted. What about Pittsburgh? Trying to go 3-0 and in ACC play away from Heinz Field. Wes had to step in and play Mike Backer tonight. First down and more, A.J. Davis. Christian Campbell tripped him up after an eight-yard pickup. All they got to do is snap the football here. Here's a big hug. Jeff Collins and his former player, Johnson. Well, it's a fun, hard-fought game by both these teams.